There are two main ways to find the ionic charge for aluminum. The first, we can look at the periodic table, look at the trend for ionic charge on the periodic table, and then the second, we could look at electron configurations. If we look at the periodic table, we can see this trend here for ionic charge. In group one, everything is one plus. Group two, they're two plus. We skip over these transition metals, some of these. We get to group 13, sometimes called 3A, and those are three plus, these two here, and we can see aluminum is right there. So aluminum has a three plus ionic charge when it bonds to other elements in these covalent bonds. Let's take a look at electron configurations as well. That kind of explains why it forms this three plus ionic charge. So we're just gonna look first at the electron configuration for aluminum, Al, like it's found on the periodic table. Atomic number's 13, that means it has 13 protons and 13 electrons. So let's write the electron configuration. So we have 13 electrons, we're gonna spread those out around the nucleus. We start with the first energy level, that's one, and the s orbital holds up to two. Then we go to the second energy level, I have our s with two, then two p, p holds up to six. So we've used 10 total electrons, we have 13. So then we go to the three s, two, we've used 12, and then three p, we've only got one left, so we're just gonna put one right here. So when aluminum bonds to another element to form an ionic bond, it's gonna lose these three electrons right here. These are the electrons in its highest energy level, in the third energy level. So it'll lose two plus one, three. So these will go to the other element, they're gone. And since we've lost three electrons, electrons are negative, we have a three plus ionic charge. That's the ionic charge for aluminum. Underneath it, since we've lost these, the second energy level, it has eight valence electrons. So it's full, it has a full highest energy level. And this makes it have the same electron configuration as neon, which is a noble gas. This is very stable. And that's why it'll lose these three valence electrons to get this configuration. So either way, you can use the periodic table, look at the trends for ionic charge, or you can look at the electron configuration to find the ionic charge for aluminum. This is Dr. B, thanks for watching.